What is up guys, what this is Jay here and today I want to recommend the top 5 things you need to learn as soon as you get your hands on the game is 5 defensive skills that are considered counters. If you do not learn these moves as soon as possible, this game will overwhelm you. The first one is a super counter. The way that the super counter works is you have to press the input as soon as the melee connect to your character. Super counter is very efficient and will help you in the long run. The next one is Z counter. Now the Z counter can be one of the most important of all of the counters because this one you will have a higher chance of using in battle. I'm not saying that the others won't, but this one will help you when you're in a pickle. So when your opponent hits you away and they're coming to advance on you, if you press RB or circle if you're using classical control, you will be able to counter them, sending them flying instead of you. The third is super perception. Now with super perception, I would actually recommend you to practice with this one the most. The reason being, there are two ways to do this. You can hold the input or time it. I find it to time it better because if you hold it, you have a higher chance of actually being punished because the opponent can actually see you holding the position. Because if you look at the animation, the character actually poses in a way. Whereas if you time it, it is sort of like a Xenoverse with the perfect block. And then we have perception. So now you might be questioning, what is the difference between super perception and perception? And there only being a slight difference. Perception only deals with rush attacks. So this one will be very vital for you to practice as well because if you want to get out of those long rush attacks, this is the way to do it. You will want to lab this one as much as possible if you have the free time. If you don't have the free time, I would still recommend you to lab this one. That's how important I feel this is. And here's a little pro tip for those people who want to go that extra step. You can actually do your Z counter practice here as well. If you allow Piccolo to do his full on combo, you can actually counter with the Z counter and he'll turn around and swing at you, which allows you to actually practice your perception too. So you will also be just giving yourself that battle knowledge. So there's a little pro tip. Last but not least is the high speed evasion. So with the high speed evasion, this is the twin brother of perception. Both of these together will make a dynamic duo, and honestly, this one is a lot easier than Perception. So picking this one up would be a lot quicker than with Perception. So this one you can spend a little bit of time labbing, but I would still recommend you to do some time labbing. Now there's definitely a lot more skills I would recommend, but these are the top five I'm taking my time to lab, and I've been seeing a lot of progress thanks to it, so I highly recommend it. And more videos to come, I just wanted to drop this really quickly for y'all so y'all can get in the lab once you have the time to, and whenever you get the game, you'll know which ones that you should really focus on. With that being said, Swift Assist J, out.